Spline tutorial for beginners, how to use Spline. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys all you need to know about Spline. Spline is a new and interactive tool which is being used by companies all over the globe. And it has made 3D design so much more easier. Instead of having to go through complicated tools, you can edit in real time. Plus, you have collaborative features, 3D modeling, animation, interactive experiences, sculpting, physics, game controls, and more. You also have different management tools included in Spline to make it easier for you to keep your designs. You have image, video, and 3D exports as well. Plus, you also have material assets, code exports, a great template library for you to get started with. Now, before we dive more into its features let's get started with the sign up process so a lot of people wonder whether or not these kinds of tools are available for free well getting started is absolutely free on spline plus you have a free account which gives you access to unlimited personal files as well as file viewers two team files two editors per file one team project and access to splines libraries the super plan on spline is only nine dollars per month where you have multiple other features such as logo removal, import style, AI style transfer, generating textures with AI, unlocking material and sound libraries, and more. Now we're going to click on get started on Spline, and I'm just going to continue on with Google to create my account. And you can sign up with your email address as well. And just like that, you're going to get started. So we're going to enter our name, and you're going to enter the reason you're working on slime then we are going to enter our reason and then you can invite your team members to collaborate but i don't need that and then we have the next tool which is following some of the community creators and then we have our 3d tools now after that this will ask you how you want to use spline so let's say we want product let's say we want ai tools and interactive 3d now i'm just going to click on done over here and spline will create our account so just like that our account has been created on spline now you will see on the bottom of your dashboard they show you some examples they also have some remixes from the community then on your left you have your my file section your community section which is a new section where you can see what the community is creating you know what is trending what is you know the new thing in these different in these different tools and after that you have your tutorials which can help you in building a specific type of illustration and then you have your library so you guys can see you have library your library categorized in two different ways you have scenes and then objects as well so if you're looking to build a particular object these can help as well now going back into our scenes you have cloner components drag and drop you know there's a lot that you can choose from and if i take uh, this particular design over here which is this really cute animated character i have just built a copy of that file and i can build my own variation or my own take on that so you guys can see first off on the bottom you have your basic scrolling tool where you can just go on ahead and scroll on and see the different angles of a 3d object over here then you know you guys can go on ahead and reset and just see it like this now after that let's say i want to just you know copy this i can do that like so and then i have two versions of this then i also can just go on ahead and just view around everything to see you know all directions how it's going to appear because it is a 3d element then on the top left you can create new objects frame modes play modes you know all of that so let's get started now i already have created a copy of this and the other variation does not have this little chicken that we have on this one so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go on ahead and go into isometric views. And if I go on to our other illustration, we can go on over here and we can also view that as well. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to get started with adding something else. So I can click on the top left. Let's say I want to insert text into this. I can just insert that into over here. 
and you will see on the left panel you have your text and then on the top right you can see your camera your states events position the text content so let's say wubba lubba dib dib wubba lubba dib dib so that's like a trending thing right now so let's say we want to put that over our little cartoon character that we have so what i'm going to do is i have just placed it over here now we can also rotate our text as you guys can see simply by pressing down on option and then you can change the orientation of the text like this then if you take your text over here on the right you have multiple different tools so if you want to bevel it in if you want to bevel the sides then if you want to convert it to shape so whatever shape that you might want to you know convert it to you can also do that over here like so and then you also have your text material so currently you guys can see it has 60 percent lighting if i convert that into 50 Go ahead and make it a physical item then we have the roughness metalness reflectivity of the item so you can you know make the text appear as its own material as well and this is just text if we want to enter insert images other items we can just go on ahead let's say i want to insert a triangle in maybe the ear section over here and let's say i want to just build like a hollow looking item so i'm going to click on option rotate it maybe a little and then selecting that over here i'm going to move it like so and i'm trying to find a good rotation for this to be at because i want this to be nice and aligned accordingly and then you can go into the layers as well and move it towards you know where we accurately want this to be positioned and once you have completed your designs now this is just playing around if you're actually getting started usually you're going to get started with a new file and this will give you a clean canvas for you to get started with in this clean canvas you can use maybe 3d text or any starter element let's say i want to use 3d text and then i can just go on ahead and begin with that if you want something a bit more simple and a bit more easier to change and adapt plus not only that other than 3d modeling and stuff you also have some library templates for icons 3d paths so you don't necessarily have to you know create something that's a shape you can go with cartoons you can build 3d characters such as peach and goma these are super popular as well so you can begin building your own variations on that as well so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with spline if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe